Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today, the most Australian pie you'll ever have. Yes, that's right, it's the kangaroo pie. All right, let's get on with it. So here I've got 500 grams of kangaroo mince, and I've got a little bit of uh, onion in there as well. I've also added in a little bit of uh, just mixed frozen vegetables. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of tomato paste concentrate that goes straight in. And basically what we really need to do is get everything cooked up just in a fry pan like I'm doing right here. Break that mince up and mix that uh, tomato paste through as best as you possibly can. Just keep stirring that around. And kangaroo is a very, very lean meat, very low in fat, very high in protein. It is a very, very good meat to eat and it's got a great flavor. Now, that doesn't mean it doesn't need any more flavor. Give it a good hit with some freshly ground black pepper like I'm doing right there. Give it a splash of a bit of red wine, why not? Let it simmer around and away. And red wine actually works quite nicely because it's gonna form part of your gravy. Keep stirring that through and that vegetable will cook off partially initially because it's gonna get cooked again in a very short period of time. Now, add in a little bit of cornstarch, corn flour, whatever you like to call it, that can go in and that's gonna actually thicken and make a nice light gravy so the uh, meat doesn't fall out of the pie when you uh, bite into it or cut into it, depending on how you're reading. Now, I've already got my own measures for my little pie dishes and that is one of them. Just cut out some rounds of pastry like that get a little pie dish like I have and I've given that a bit of a grease with some uh, butter because uh, puff pastry has a lot of butter in it and why not I'm sorry again a little bit out of frame but we want to spike the bottom of that with a fork and I'm going to use a little muffin case that goes in and we'll put some beans in use your baking beans if you have them once the uh, once that is done, all we're going to basically do is cook those on a high temperature at around about 200 degrees for, let's say, about 10 minutes. And don't forget, make a mess of your baking beans when you're trying to remove them and spill them as far and wide as possible. Now, all you need to do now is put your filling in and get the tops of your cases and put that straight on top. Make sure we've got plenty of that filling in there. And that filling is an amazing flavor, I guarantee you. Okay, and if you haven't had kangaroo before or kangaroo pie, look, if you can find the meat, buy it. And don't buy the pet food for, you know. Yeah, I know, pet food. Anyway, put the tops on, just like that. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And this whole dish should take you no longer than an hour to make from start to finish and we're just going to crimp those down with a fork and put a couple of little uh, slots in there so we've got a couple of steam vents to let that meat steam and we want to make that pastry nice and fluffy they're going to go back in until they're uh, nice and golden I've turned the oven down to 180 degrees very very simple very very quick and there you go no more than 15 minutes and there you go, we've got beautiful kangaroo pies. Let's turn these out and serve them up on a plate just like that. Serve them with your favorite sauce, whether it be a HP sauce or whether it be a tomato sauce, it doesn't really matter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. If you like this video, hey, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. Makes you should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell if I haven't already said so. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. But if you want to learn how to make good old household easy food, just like I do, well then you need to come and join the family, my family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I am off to my kangaroo pie and I will catch you next time. Bye.